We're now joined by our college football insider, Brian Curtis, who's going to give us some news and notes about this Big East Conference. I guess we got to start in Jersey, right? Well, of course, because the major story last year across the nation was the resurgence of Rutgers University under Coach Greg Schiano. Now, by now, everyone knows the motto of the Rutgers football team is keep chopping. And now you can add everyone do 111th to the repertoire as well. Coming off last year's incredible 11-win season, not much will change in 2007. Though the spotlight will be on Heisman candidate Ray Rice, the real pressure will fall on quarterback Mike Teal, who did finish last season with three good games, but wasn't always the greatest passer. Now, this summer, Teal worked out heavily with Taquan Underwood before and after workouts to improve his accuracy. He also bulked up in the weight room. Last year, Teal was only sacked eight times, but he expects a few more hits this season, so he wanted some added muscle for protection. Now, defensive tackle Pete Tverdov has been around, but this year he'll be a major part of the defensive line, teaming up with defensive end Eric Foster. Now, things didn't change much in the Syracuse offseason, despite the 4-8 record last season. Head coach Greg Robinson has taken a lot of heat after just two years, as is Syracuse athletic director Daryl Gross, who hired Robinson within months of taking the job. Now, the coaches did spend a lot of time in the offseason self-critiquing, and one area of concern was the offensive line, which gave up 45 sacks in 2006. The coaches decided they were partly to blame by putting players in a position to fail and by calling certain plays. As for the players, more film and technique work in fall camp just might do the trick. The team motto of closing the gap better come to fruition in 2007. Pittsburgh coach Dave Wanstatt is putting more of a focus on situational periods in practice in August, a bit of a change from previous pit camps. With a young roster and a new quarterback, Wanstatt wants to get his guys reps in game-like situations and after talking with coaches at other schools, decided to alter his practice routine. Now, the loss of linebacker H.B. Blades to the NFL could be a blow, but wait. His backup, Scott McKillop, is so good, the pit staff thinks he might turn out to be better than the All-American Blades. On the offense, look for freshman running back LaShawn McCoy to make an immediate impact in 2007. And it's unique. Out of all the teams in the conferences, just one replaced their head coach last year, and that was Cincinnati.